Hey guys, Chad Wesley Smith doing some uh, one minute Q and A's. Alex Kemp asked about using uh, how to how to incorporate strongman movements into training for a powerlifting meet. Um, so my first advice there would really be to to not do that. You know, if you're trying to be the best the best possible at uh, at powerlifting, then you shouldn't be training strongman strongman events. You know, in those in those last six, 10, 12 weeks, whatever it is, before a contest, that's going to be something you want to reserve for for more of an off season uh, off season time period when you can do more more general work because it, it could definitely have its place there. But if you do insist upon using it in in an actual meat training cycle, uh, <laughs> the stuff that I'd encourage you to to incorporate with it would be uh, using the log log press as an accessory upper body movement or, or as your second upper body day because the neutral grip handles and that won't beat your shoulders up as much and, and building your overhead strength will help you out for sure uh, with the bench press. And then I think the farmer's walk is going to be a good <clears throat> a good option to use after after the deadlift if you know, that'll build a lot of ab strength and a lot of, uh, a lot of grip strength. And <clears throat> then the only other thing I might advise is uh, any kind of heavy front carries like a sandbag or keg carries, which will really teach you how to, how to brace uh, and support heavy weight.